All right, we have a really quick medication today. The medication we're going to talk about is a cyclovir. That's how I say it. Some people say a cyclovir. But every time you see that VIR suffix, you need to be thinking antiviral. Okay, these VIRs are all antivirals. Trade name is Zovirax. A lot of times what this is going to be given for are for these complicated, hard to get rid of viral infections, things like genital herpes, herpes zoster, or chicken pox, okay? Viral infections that are very hard to manage and control. Otherwise, we can give a cyclovir too. So what it does, it actually interferes with the viral DNA synthesis by, so what it does, it really kind of just inhibits this virus from propagating from this DNA synthesizing and progressing anymore. Its therapeutic class is antiviral, pharmacologic class is purine analog. Some, there's some, there are some big side effects with these medications and, and nursing considerations. One of the biggest ones you're going to want to be aware of as a nurse is that you're really going to want to do a really thorough skin assessment on these patients because this medication, the cyclovir, can actually lead to Stevens-Johnson syndrome. Now, if you really want to gross your friends or family out, pick up your phone right now, uh, go to Google and just Google Stevens-Johnson syndrome and show them a, a really good picture. Because what this is, it's really kind of like the skin sloughing off and it's just, it's very uh, unfortunate for your patients. I haven't seen massive cases of this in the hospital, but I have seen minor cases of Stevens-Johnson syndrome. And so it's really something you're going to want to take care of and watch for just by doing a good skin assessment and catching it before it goes too far. Other things you want to keep in mind is this can actually lead to seizures and renal failure. So I want to want to get a good renal panel uh, with these patients and it can cause dizziness, nausea, diarrhea, kind of those things that a lot of medications cause. Um, but it can cause thrombocytopenic purpura, which is another skin issue that we're going to want to watch out for. Uh, with uh, the thrombocytopenia occurring, these low platelet levels, okay? So really watching the skin, making sure we're doing a thorough skin assessment, and then obviously watching this infection, watching the chicken pox, watching the, the herpes zoster, seeing if this is uh, resolving, okay? So that's a really quick medication, a cyclovir antiviral. This has been another episode of the Med Master Podcast, brought to you by medmastercourse.com and nrsng.com. My name is John Haas, RN, CCRN, student nurse mentor and your biggest fan if you're ready to demolish nursing pharmacology once and for all head over to medmastercourse.com and use the coupon code podcast to save 15 percent on lifetime membership to medmaster course medmaster course is packed full of 30 plus hours of hd video and audio content with tons and tons of free cheat sheets and downloads Demolish nursing pharmacology. Never guess a med again. Go to medmastercourse.com. Coupon code podcast. You guys know what time it is now. Go out and do something great. Happy nursing. Happy nursing.